Hi everyone, so recently I went to a wedding and this is a tutorial on how I did my makeup that day. First I'm priming my eyes with L'Oreal Decrease Eyeshadow Base and I'm just patting that in with my finger. I'm using my Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush to apply L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the shade Coco. I'm just sweeping this into the crease of my eye to give my eyes some depth. I'm using my Coastal Sense Doe Foot Blender Brush to apply the color Smog to the outer V of my eye. And then I'm just quickly going over that with my blender brush to prevent any harsh lines. Now I'm using NYX Ultra Pro Mania in the shade Nude and I'm using the brush that came with my Naked 3 palette and spraying it with MAC Fix Plus to make the color show up more vibrantly. I'm only applying this to the inner corner of my eye. Now I'm applying NYX Ultra Pearl Mania in the shade Orange, right between the smog eyeshadow that I applied and the nude pigments that I just applied. Now I'm just using the other side of the brush that came with my Naked 3 palette just to blend out any harsh lines. I'm using my Clinique Brush On Cream Liner in the shade True Black and my Sigma Small Eyeliner E10 brush. I'm just creating an upward wing at the end of my eye. I want my eyeliner to come to a point at the innermost part of my eye, so for this I'm using Sigma Small Angle E65 brush. I've just folded over an index card and lined that up with the wing of my eyeliner and then I'm taking my Sigma Pencil E30 brush and the color Creep from my Naked palette and I'm just smoking out that liner. If in the process you ruin your liner at all, you can just touch it up right after, like I'm doing. I'm using my Coastal Sense Detail Shadow Brush to apply the color Creep to the outermost part of my lower lash line.
Now applying smog with the same brush throughout my entire bottom lash line. In order to prevent those darker colors that I just applied from looking too harsh, I'm just going to blend that out with my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the shade Cocoa and my Coastal Scents Dome Blender Brush. This is going to give my eyes a more smoky look. Now I'm using Virgin from my Naked palette and applying it to my brow bone as a highlight. I'm squeezing out some of my Duo Clear Eyelash Adhesive onto a Q-tip, then I'm using it to apply the glue to the base of my lashes. I'm just blowing on them to get the glue tacky. For mascara, I'm using CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. This is going to blend my lashes in with the falsies. I'm also using that mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm applying Estee Lauder Pure Color Blush in the shade Hot Sienna with my Coastal Scents Round Powder Blush. Now to highlight my cheekbones and give my face a more glowing look, I'm applying Christian Dior Pro Cheeks in the shade Limelight with my Coastal Scents Foundation Brush. I'm being careful to pat this on instead of sweeping it across my face because I don't want to disturb any of the makeup that I've applied underneath it. My dress is red with orange undertone in it, so I'm going to create orange and red ombre lips to match my dress. First, I'm lining my lips with NYX Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Plush Red. I know it looks ridiculous with me drawing the lines on this thick, but I'm doing that deliberately to create a smooth transition from this red color to the orange color that I'm going to use next. I'm using Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tar in the shade Grandma. I love this because it's very long wearing and it's a matte finish. I'm just going back and touching up and intensifying that lip liner that I applied before. That completes the tutorial for how I did my makeup at the wedding that I recently attended. Now I'll show you how I did my hair and what I wore. I had my hair done in an updo by Joanne at Avanti Design Salon in North Providence, Rhode Island. I'll include the information for this salon below. I decided to include a picture of my nails because I was kind of obsessed with them. I got them done like Louis Vuitton shoes, nude on top and red on the bottom. I took a huge chance and I ordered my dress offline. I ordered it from thecelebritydresses.com and I'll include their information below as well. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe to my channel and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it.